At Stevenson, we have a unique um, program in that we have beach volleyball as well. We were the first Division III school in the country to have beach volleyball as a varsity sport. Here we are in Maryland. Our athletic director was a big proponent of adding beach volleyball to our program because we feel like that we can get a, a really superior athlete that wants to play both. That's why a lot of kids will come to Stevenson because they want to play both beach volleyball and indoor volleyball. With having, this year we will have 10 dual sport athletes, nine beach only athletes, and eight indoor only athletes over the 27. We see our program as being together. We lift together. We cheer for each other. And I really could add men's volleyball into that too because when the girls aren't practicing, they're out there on the beach courts playing with the guys. And we go to all their games, they come to all, our, all of our games. Uh, the way it's set up for beach volleyball is they really have to earn their spot. We have challenges after every big tournament so they can move up and down the pairs based on their performance. The girls at first had difficulty with this because it is stressful. But what better way to simulate, pra to simulate matches than have r meaningful matches at practice? Uh, it's become part of our culture. It's become part of who we are and how competitive we are. Sometimes the matches in practice are tougher than the ones that are actually in the game. So for beach volleyball, uh, you can work as hard as you want to get as, as good and move up that ladder. So that's something that's really important uh, in, in beach. So uh, beach volleyball, we're eight hours away from any other beach program right now. It's coming, but right now we fly everywhere we go. We've taken a couple of bus uh, buses down to Tennessee and North Carolina, but this past year we were going to fly everywhere we went. And then, for the first year, the AVCA has sponsored a, beach, a Division III beach national championship. That's what we were pointing towards. Not lost to a Division III school yet in beach. And so that's what we were working for this year. Unfortunately, our season was canceled. We have four beautiful beach courts, I'd say maybe 200 yards from our team room, that we can practice on every day. So the number of touches, again, the number of touches getting per practice, the setting up the, of the competitions, having four courts on practice, uh, for practice. When we play home, I'm not sure too many schools do this, we stream the matches. So everyone can see, because most of our beach players, we've got a girl from California, we've got girls from Chicago, we've got girls from Syracuse, New York, we've got kids from North Carolina. So we've got beach players from all over the United States, and they have a phenomenal time. Again, they're playing beach volleyball Division Three for one reason. That's because it's fun, and we do have it.